Hey guys, we're going to do something a little different here on the channel today. We're going to do an install video on one of the Brute Force 750s. This is the KEBC Delete with Hole Cover Kit by Knight Power Sports Products. Um, KnightATV.com, I believe, is the website. Okay, let me just show you real quick what's in the box. Uh, so here, this is the actual uh, KEBC actuator cover. I'll sh we'll show you that in a little bit, where that goes. It's got a sticker, and then of course the, the module that we're gonna need to um, actually delete the KEBC function. And uh, some extra parts here we'll, we'll get to in a little bit as well. So let's head on over to the Brute Force and get this installed. All right, so here at the Brute Force 750, just for reference, this is a 2012 model. It should work on any 2012 um, up to 2023. Might actually work on the, the older models as well. I just can't confirm that. Check with Knight ATV uh, and they'll let you know. But I'm gonna show you a much more simplified way to install this. On their website, on their in install video on YouTube, Knight ATV would have you remove the rack, the front plastic, all the, head the headlights, um, these the storage compartment. And look, I've done that before for different things and that takes a long time and I just really couldn't imagine doing that for this install given where uh, or knowing where I need to go here to install this. So let's take a look at it. All I did was I removed the three bolts, the screws rather, that hold the um, little cover here on, the 12 volt accessory. Okay, so you just move that out of the way. So right here's what we're getting at. Okay, this piece right here. Now it is a little tight, but I, was, I managed to do this on my 2017 with very little issues. I'll take that clip off there before I lose it. That has been known to happen. All right, just there's a little button, a little uh, clip you have to press down on, and then it'll pop right out. Plastic cover on here have to peel off very important or else this will not work okay so that's peeled off and now we can which way does this go like this okay all right you heard the click so it's in all right so now all we have to do is connect this in into the other connection that we just removed. I'm going to stick this. This right here, you're going to want to find a place to secure it, and I'll get. I'll do that in a little bit. But I'm just going to show you. It can be done. It's tight, <clears throat> but it can be done. All right. Everybody heard the click. So now we're going to find that there's a little tab down here that this thing needs to slide onto just doing this kind of by feel. Yep, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're at the KEBC actuator, engine brake, engine braking actuator. And so eight millimeter socket is what you're gonna to need to remove this. Okay, I've got the bolts out. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift the actuator out. <clears throat> the little wire clip down here, you wanna loosen up to be able to uh, pull the wiring harness out. And a little clip here, I think. There we go, so you just Push it out and it'll just pop right out. Here's the aluminum hole cover plate installed. Very simple to do. Two screws to hold the plate on. One back here to seal out water and dust. And there's also a rubber O-ring underneath the plate that prevents water and dust intrusion as well. Let's go ahead and install these clips that night ATV gave us. The largest one's gonna go 
in the largest connection here. Uh, let me make sure I did that right. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, next one here. Okay, there we go. Just had to put a little extra strength on it. Okay, so, so these connections are tied up. And they're, they're, they're okay right there. <clears throat> so this one here, I'm just going to run it down alongside the belt cover and close that metal tab on the side. Let me see here, get a little closer so you can see. This is right here. So just close that. You can zip tie it better than that if you want, but that's how I did it on my other brute force and it was, it's fine. Okay, so that should be everything. Um, now I want to grab the key, turn this thing on, make sure the belt light uh, stays off and that everything looks good, and then we'll finish up. <laughs>